Before we get started, make sure you have a mouse that is plugged into your Chromebook. When I talk about left click on the mouse, I'm talking about this button. If I say the right click, I say I mean this button right here. And if I say the scroll wheel, I mean the little wheel right in the center. Okay, so let's go over the navigation panel that you'll find the navigation panel right here on the left side. If you click left click on the plus sign, it zooms in left click on the minus sign and zooms out. This right here, this blue part is your work plane. That's where your model is going to be. That's where you're going to build everything. If you want to look around your model, you can left click and hold anywhere on this box and move that box around and you'll see that the, uh, the work plane moves along with it. Now let's say you get really lost and you just want to get back to normal. That's what the little house symbol, the home symbol is for. Click the home and it takes you back to your original view. Now having the mouse is nice because a lot of this stuff you can do just at your fingertips right on here with the mouse. So you can zoom in using the scroll wheel by bringing it closer or away from you just using the scroll wheel so you don't have to sit here and click. Secondly, if you right click and hold anywhere in the blue, right click and hold, you can rotate just like you would have up here, but you can do it straight on the model. So it's really easy to uh, rotate, zoom in, rotate some more, zoom in some more to find your spot. Okay. All right. That was the navigation panel. Let's take a look over here at the shapes panel. Uh, I want you to go ahead and click left click on the red box and then left click again to bring it into your work plane. Now practicing your navigation, let's go ahead with your scroll wheel, zoom in. Let's go ahead with your right click and hold to rotate. See if you can rotate and look underneath the cube and then bring it back around. See if you can zoom in to one of the corners and then go ahead and click the home view again. Now, you can also bring some other shapes into the space and arrange them wherever you want. That's part one.